month, RTV6 honors those giving back to the community with the prestigious Jefferson Award. A heroin overdose took her son's life. Now one mother is on a mission to save others. Her venture led to a law in her son's name, one that literally puts the power in your hands to save your loved ones. It's so painful, and I don't want someone else to have to suffer that way. The, the loss of their child is, is pretty remarkably painful. In 2013, Justin Phillips lost her 20-year-old son, Aaron, to a heroin overdose. Really smart, big heart, always cared about the other person, was always the friend of kind of the underdog. And you would see him on the side of the football field, you know, patting his teammates on the back and encouraging them. Aaron had completed rehab and was on the road to recovery, but heroin had a tight grip. And he admitted that he'd been trying to not use heroin on his own and could not stop without help. There was help that Justin didn't know about at the time that just might have saved her son's life. Naloxone, also known as Narcan, in a form similar to an EpiPen or nasal spray, reverses the effects of an opioid overdose. Justin learned about it at a Metro Police pilot program. Refusing to just sit in her sorrow, she took action to spread awareness and access to Narcan. She started a nonprofit called Overdose Lifeline. Well, this is something I can do, sort of in memory of Aaron. We can raise some money and we can start helping offset the cost to the law enforcement for their naloxone. That was when you couldn't have it in your home. You could just have it through first responders. This determined mother changed that. She knew Narcan needed to be in homes in the reach of family and friends of addicts. And in 2015, the Indiana legislature passed a law in her son's name, Aaron's Law, allowing anyone to get Narcan at a pharmacy and legally administer the antidote. You can say, I need a, a naloxone prescription, and they'll give it to you without a prescription from your physician. So we've come a long way. Justin, congratulations on receiving the Jefferson Award. Thank you. It started for Aaron with a prescription pain medicine and then led to heroin. Recently, Indiana Senator Joe Donnelly spoke in Washington on the floor of the Senate, calling for the passage of a bill to address opioid and heroin epidemics, including expanding access to naloxone. He showed Aaron's picture and shared Aaron's story to describe the devastation of the drug epidemic. I think part of the challenge around addiction is the stigma that's attached and how so often we don't want to talk about it. We rather pretend it's not happening. And I think that's how people die. Justin hopes to take away the stigma of drug addiction by recognizing it as a compulsion and using Narcan to combat that. I don't think it's a license to use. I think it's a way to keep them alive until they can get recovery. It gives everyone a second chance, and everyone deserves a second chance. And here is how you can nominate someone for that award. Log on to our special Jefferson Awards section on the homepage of the IndieChannel.com. There you can fill out a nomination form and learn more about the Jefferson Awards. A special committee of community leaders in central Indiana will review those nominations and select one winner each month.